you so much. And I did want to, to um, first of all, thank Liz because uh, Liz's leadership in putting together, you know, we all speak to who we speak to. And, you know, I think all of us make the mistake of thinking that we really are communicating with everyone that needs to be communicated. And, and what we really know is very often we are communicating with people who make us feel comfortable because they kind of agree with us. And it's very easy to forget that there is a range of opinion. There are people who might be sort of with you, but unless they're looking at you face to face, they really don't get the critical nature of what it is that we are trying to move here. So this bipartisan pro-choice caucus has allowed us to not only speak to each other, but reaffirm our commitment to making sure that not only we get the bill on the floor, but again, that the bill passes. Why is it necessary to do that? And we've had this conversation, and, and, and NARAL, uh, you know, we talked about put it on, not put it on. And the reality is, is that we made a decision based on what we understood to be what would happen on that floor. If we let the legislation out without 32 positive votes, not only would it fail, but we would open it up to put all kinds of amendments on that because there were so many people who were trying to, to, to kill women's options in terms of their reproductive health would be able to pass lethal amendments that would really send us back. We could not afford to do that. We should not even consider putting our bill out without the understanding that it's going to pass and strengthen the reproductive rights of women in New York. Now, when we talked about it initially, when I first carried the bill, there was almost no chance of any reproductive health uh, um, initiatives on a national level that would impact what happens in New York. And now we know we are in a very different place. We know that there is a wave sweeping the country, targeting women, as far as I'm concerned, in many ways. And what's happening in terms of our reproductive health choices is really underscoring where people think they can go if we are asleep. But we don't sleep in New York, right? <laughs> we are not asleep. We are awake. And the same kind of communication that's happening with our, with our bipartisan pro-choice caucus is happening with all of you. So I can only tell you how encouraged I am to see all of you here who know exactly what needs to be done. As Liz said, speak to those people who are not on our side because you know what? They don't understand, if they're not on our side, what an important issue this is and how it will protect not only this generation of women, but generations of women to come. Speak to them, make them understand, make us stronger, let us pass the bill so that we as women can move forward in the rights that we know we should have. Thank you very much.